everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our Final Fantasy XIV Online Let's Play. And we are back with Vesper Valentina. We just got out of the Stone Vigil, so let's go ahead and talk to Elfino, see what he has to say. So, ah, how I have longed for the more agreeable climate of the Twelves Wood. Right, though? Yet, I will not deny the Holy Sea had its charms. Endless detours aside, our Ishgardian jaunt proved quite an adventure. Alas, our work is far from done. We will still have an airship to repair and a primal to slay. No rest for the heroic, eh? True. Oh, cool. History repeating. We got... Gun and Chivo. Um, can we domain... Oh, just for completing a quest. Cool. Alright, Sid. I'm glad we could pick this up. Into the Eye of the Storm. Except... Uh-oh, are we going in to see the Garuda right now? I don't know, I think it's the Howling... Howling Eye or something, I don't... <laughs> Is this the Garuda quest? I hope not. <laughs> Hopefully it's still set up. I'm not quite ready, prepared for Garuda. You can remember, Sid. I believe in you. We never got our new pants. It calms me to look at her. It's as though I've been reunited with a part of me I never knew was missing. Hardly surprising. You did design and build her. <laughs> I mean, I'm such a little... <laughs> I like him, but he's so, like, pompous sometimes. I like it when he gets put in his place. I bear good news. The seat seers have granted our request to house the Enterprise. We may take as long as we require to repair her. Of course, it would be rank folly to take one moment more than we require. Garuda, lest we forget, grows stronger by the hour. If we are to have any hope in wresting this benighted realm from her talons, it must needs be soon. Can you please talk plainly? Though I am no expert on the workings of airships, it seems plain to me that the Enterprise suffered much from her time in the wilderness. Am I not correct, Sid? You are. Frankly, it's a miracle she carried us this far. As you know, the Howling Eye is encircled by a raging tempest, apt to turn proud trees to matchwood. Our battle will end before it begins if the Enterprise cannot weather the storm. Okay. Given time, I believe I can fully repair her. But if this tempest is as fearsome as you say, even that may not be enough. Confound it. There must be a way. A way to brave the fury of the elements. The elements. But of course, that's it. We work upon the element itself. Using the power of the corrupted crystal, we could clear a path through the storm and spare the Enterprise a battering. Okay. I see. You propose to utilize the properties of a crystal to alter the elemental aspect of the barrier. Seems so childish, childishly simple in retrospect. Though mayhap not to you, Vesper, we speak of the manifestations of over-aspected aether that can be found throughout Eorzea. What's that supposed to mean? You think I'm dumb, Alphano? Look, since the calamity disrupted the land's aetheric currents, such crystals have become comparatively commonplace, which has been a cause of great woe, as they are known to warp etheric energies, including those of living organisms. The point is, we could theoretically use a corrupted crystal to convert the wind-aspected aether comprising Garuda's barrier into aether of another aspect, one she cannot control. With certain modifications, the Enterprise should be able to deliver us to the Howling Eye in comfort, however hard Garuda blows. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. All of this rests upon our ability to procure a crystal with the necessary properties. Have you any idea where we might acquire one? No, but I know a man who might, a scholar by the name of Lambertiant, who resides in Camp Drybone. Strange as it may sound, I met him during my time at the church. Well, Marquis met him, I suppose. Whether out of pity or, of, or for want of a more willing listener, he would talk to me for hours at a time about his etheric studies, corrupted crystals being his pet subject. It was as a result of these conversations that poor Marquis was observed to possess an uncommon knack for theoretical science. <laughs> Vesper, I need you to return to Thanalan and seek out the scholar. Sid and I will set about repairing the Enterprise in your absence. I mean, we are not your errand person. I hope you know that. You always send us to do stuff. Watch the dragon. Make sure it doesn't wake up. 
Go find the crystal. I mean, you could do some of this yourself. I'm just saying, Elfino. Don't think I'm not grateful or anything. I'm just saying. Have fun repairing the ship. I'll go get the crystal. Remember who slayed the dragon, by the way. Just, just saying. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Um, oh, I gotta talk to... Hi, can I get out of here? Yes, please. I, I wish to leave the landing area. Um, actually, I don't need to. I, we, we're gonna... We're gonna teleport to Camp Drybone. Um... Where are you? Right here. Nope. Don't need to use the tickets yet. Still saving them. Still holding on. I, I just... I glanced slightly at our um, experience bar. We almost... Oh my god, we almost at level 42. Amazing. Um, and I also want to check, we didn't get new pants at all? None of these are new, like, white pants? Did we skip a quest or something? I swear that we would get new pants from there. Um, alright. Lam- Lamber- Lampertint? Where are you? Uh, looks like you are... In here? Yes. Perfect. Hello, friend. Hmm? Well, yes. Oh, wing sauce. Hi. Well, yes. I am Professor Lamberton. Beg pardon? You wish to hear about my research on corrupted crystals? Truly. Well, nothing would give me greater pleasure than to discuss my work with a fellow woman of science. Cool. Level 42. Cool. Um, you acquired a fire starter. What's that? Is that a passive? Fire starter? Yeah. Grants a 40% chance that after casting fire, your next fire three will require no MP. Oh! And have no casting time. Fire three is going to be a proc now. Perfect. Okay. Alright, Lamberton. What do you got here? Ah, so rare it is to find a fellow intellectuals in this region. Tis even rarer to find one capable of comprehending the nature of corrupted crystals. Come to think of it, there was another, a hermit to whom the church had given sanctuary. Curious fellow, unsociable, rather daft at first impression, yet possessed of an amazing affinity towards the scientific pursuits. But to the matter at hand, did you say you wish not to conduct field observations, but to harvest a corrupted crystal? Eat gads, woman. At least take the necessary precautions so that you do not suffer from exposure to its harmful energies. I'm beginning to wonder if you have sufficient qualifications to handle such hazardous materials. Still, your ignorance is somehow endearing. If you bring me a suitable vessel, say, a common clay pot, I shall coat it with an alchemical sealant of mine own design. Simply store the crystal you seek within this pot to protect yourself from its deleterious effects. Hmm? Where might you find a clay pot? Well, I'm hardly a merchant, but surely some fellow in the Golden Bazaar has some for sale. Really? All the way up there we gotta run and just to find a clay pot? Does it have to be a clay pot? Can we just find like- I mean, I'm sure if we look around this place there's gonna be a pot that we could grab. Look, I, look at all these over here. Can- can- oh. Uh, guys, so guys, remember last episode? When I said that we got some new uh, mounts, this was the new mount. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that uh, this is from the collector's edition of Stormblood. So, and do you guys remember a couple episodes we ran by someone on this mount and I was like, where'd they get that? I did not know that, that we got this. I knew, I thought we had already gotten collector's edition, but maybe we got, maybe we got those Outfits and everything for pre-ordering and this was for collector's edition We also got a pet um, Where's my pet Ruth? Uh, where are you? Minion guide. We got this guy wind up Bart's Cannot execute at the time um, But this one looks like look how cool he looks Wind up Bart's. This is not the way to the Golden Bazaar, is it? No, we gotta go over here. I got distracted by mounts and pets, <laughs> which happens a lot. So let's go to the Golden Bazaar, find a clay pot that we can put this crystal in. Um, this is such a cool mount. 
<laughs> like this is awesome. I still think Fat Chocobo and the Egg are my favorites right now, but this guy is really cool. So I bet everyone has them. Cause who wouldn't order the collector's? I I guess there's more money, but that's my weakness in these MMOs. I will pay money for mounts, <laughs> like real money. <laughs> I will do anything for a mount. Okay, let's go find, um, oh, here he is. Look at all these pots right here. Can I just take one of these? Munificent merchant. You get a pot, and you get a pot. Everyone gets a pot. Okay, Oprah, <laughs> calm down there. And <clears throat> sorry, I get a bit carried away when disposing of old merchandise. Any road, take my pot, please. Oh, thank you. Uh, did we even have to pay for that? He just wanted to get rid of it. Alright. Now we gotta run back. Actually, we can, um... Let's cheat. Let's cheat a little bit. <laughs> I'm fine with it. I'm fine with spending 170 gil to, to warp down there instead of having to run all the way back. Alright. If he can put his... What is it? Alchemical... Something else... Un <laughs> something or other into this pot so that we can put the crystal in. Oh, that would be great. Okay. We got it. Uh, fascinating. Even accounting for the unusually strong etherical currents in the region, the crystalline formations are... Oh, you've returned. Any luck finding a pot like I suggested? We sure did. Well, this is indeed an unremarkable piece of rubbish, but for our purposes, <laughs> it shall suffice. I went, up, I went to great lengths to find that pot, I hope you know. Alright. With the liberal application of my alchemical sealant, this sorry excuse for earthenware will be reborn as a corrupt crystal containment device. Now observe as this scholarly skillful- Oh, almost dropped that. Skillfully coats the interior of this pot just so. There, it's finished. You no longer need to fear the crystal's transformative energies. So I suppose you will be bombarded with his energies until you place it within the vessel. Well, perhaps it shall motivate you to work quickly. In any case, I would now have you take the warded pot to Hahasako. Wow, what a name. A student of mine monitoring the flow of Aether at Highbridge. Explain to him your quest, and he shall instruct you in the finer points of crystal harvesting. Okay, where's this guy? Are there fireworks going on outside my house? I think there are. It is getting close to the 4th of July, but it's like 2.30 in the morning. Why would someone be shooting fireworks outside? There are. There are seriously fireworks. I do live close... I do live close to the baseball park, but I don't think a baseball game would be... Unless they went into like... 5 million in innings. All right, let's get over here and do this. Um, talk to this guy. So pretty over here. It's on the other side of this bridge. So we're delivering the warded pot to Hahasako. Where is he, down there or? Where is he? Oh, right here, okay. Oh my god, don't fall off. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Pushed the little guy off the edge. How many times must I be made to explain myself? I am not contemplating suicide, you imbecile. I have chosen this precise position to perform scientific measurements. Okay, well, I brought you this. What have we here? A containment vessel? Why, this is the handiwork of Professor Lamberton. You thieving knave, I shall call for the- Oh, made especially for you by the man himself. He must have sought me out for his instruction, which means he believes me experienced enough to expound upon his explanations. At last, the recognition I so rightfully deserve. <laughs> okay. Ooh, mega potions. Good. Oh, Frab- What? Frab just day? Kalu Kale- What are you smoking? What is this? <laughs> that I should be chosen to guide this woman. Yes, I, Hahasako, greatest of Professor Lamberton's pupils, shall see that you successfully quarry your quarry. Your timing is impeccable, in fact, for I was just preparing to procure corrupted crystals from the burning wall for my personal research. There, the devastating destruction caused by the calamity has blessed us with a bounty of sublime specimens. But something tells me that not but a perfect peace will satisfy your high standards, in which case you must needs descend into the deepest depths. 
Amidst the flowing waters and the murderous mir mirror nights lies the most fantastic formation I have found thus far. Take this highly advanced researcher's tool and use it to separate a small fragment from the larger cluster. Place it within the warded pot and bear it back to me for inspection. The path which leads from Burgundy Falls to the base of the burning wall is treacherous and terrifying, but advance with appropriate caution and you shall sur surely survive. Okay. Um, we're gonna go into that crystal area, I think. And we're back on our egg. Perfect. Alright, so we are... Can I get through there down here? I think so. We came down here for the Black Mage quest. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Our guy is down here. Uh, for when we get to level 45. Right, we're gonna pass him. Because we came down here for those golden fleeces. Right, he should be right in here. Yeah, he's our black mage guy. Kazakcha! <laughs> Bye, we'll be back again. Floating stone. We're not coming back for you. I want that mount. I want that mount. Where do you get that one? Alright. Now we can see that... I don't think we were in here during the day. Last time. Right, pass by all these golden fleeces. We gotta go down and around. We're trying to get down there. Um, so we just we'll just follow us around and hope please don't please don't detect me. There we go. <laughs> okay. We snuck by him. <laughs> That's called stealth. We're ninjas now. No, we're black mages. Um, we gotta get by. Oh, see, look at this guy's like, oh, I'll just turn my back and you can hop on by. <laughs> Perfect. He knew we were coming. Alright, and this should lead us down there, hopefully. Nope. Well, I wanna get. How do I get. Oh, we shouldn't have come up here. We gotta go down there. We had to go the other way on this one. Right? This way? Oh my god, I don't know. I'm, I'm so lost. I'm so turned around. No, this is it. We're going on here. Okay. Yep, right in there. So we're gonna have to kill um, these armored- or these mirror knights, I think, because I gotta get to that one. And I think we will pu end up pulling him if we don't kill him right now. So, wing sauce, if you wouldn't mind helping me take out this mirror knight. Giving me some heals. Oh, look. Uh, we got a proc fire three. Perfect. Okay. Um. Let us. Corrupted cluster. Use this. <laughs> Quarrying mall. The scientific tool. It's just a hammer. <laughs> um. Use the warded pot. Okay, let's gather our crystal. All right, and now we're headed back up. <laughs> so we came all the way down here. I uh, wish we could fly. Wish we had flying right now because we gotta wind our way back up this whole place and maze our way out of here. Um, so I think we come up here and go. Uh. Nope, we're still- we're going up this way. Okay. Looks- I think. I hope so. I hope I didn't just get lost. I probably got turned around. No, no, no. No, we're good. We're good, we're good. Um, don't- don't aggro to me. Thank you. Thank you for letting us by. You- you as well. We only need to fight one of you guys- oh. My bad, spoke too soon, but I am not stopping to fight you. We are continuing on! We're gonna pass by Kazakcha again. And we are going to turn in this pot to Hahasako. Again, I really want a plushie of that furble. <laughs> These little guys. Look, once you guys. Okay, guys. Once you just feel like you're just hugging the softest thing in the world if you hug one of those. I mean, I guess look at his face, though. It's kind of creeper face, but <laughs> that's okay. We, we don't have to look at its face. We'll just hug its fluff. Okay. 
Let's get back down here to this little guy. And see what he's going to have us do. And we are the right level. So hopefully it remains so. I really like her outfit. Look how cool that is. <laughs> um, oh, I should... Oh, we passed him. We definitely passed him. I should look and see the drawing for the Mega Jumbo Cackpot um, board is probably up now, but... Alright, I see you've come galumphing back. Have you the crystal then? Yes. What a prodigiously large and lovely crystal. Professor Lamberton will doubtlessly chortle with joy when you present it to him in person. When upon your return, do remember to recount how I helped you with your harvesting. You gave me a hammer. That's literally all you did, is you gave me a hammer to go hit a crystal. I don't know what else you want me to tell him that you did, because the only thing you did was say, hey, here's a scientific tool, handed me a hammer. <laughs> like, that's all. I do like the lime green in the daytime, because you can really see that he is green on wing sauce. Um, it's just, I wish you could see it. At night, it doesn't look like he's died at all. When we get more gill, I'm going to try to re-dye him a different color. We got to change him back to yellow, and then we'll, I don't know, maybe we'll go like a red or, I don't know, we get a black chocobo in Heaven's Ward, so I don't want to do black. We'll try like a red or something. What would go with black mage? Probably red or blue. All right, Lamberton. My keen scholar sense tells me that you've obtained a corrupted crystal, am I right? Yep, right here. If you would grant me a moment to examine the crystal, ah, it is as you desired. A corrupted crystal overflowing with wind-aspected aether. Hmm, remind me, for what purpose did you intend to use this crystal again? What? To breach a barrier comprised of wind-aspected aether? Oh dear, that may prove problematic as this crystal will only serve to strengthen the barrier. Suppose I'm at fault for not inquiring as to your objectives from the start. Had I known your intent, I would have never sent you to Hahasako. What is science if not trial and error? And can you truly say that this failure has taught you nothing? Yeah? Think, woman. You now understand the- Woman? I mean, dang, man. You now understand the methods necessary to safely collect a corrupted crystal. You will doubtless have no difficulty doing so once more. What's more, the crystal you collected can serve as an invaluable resource for the etherical studies conducted by the students of Baldessian. I've heard of them. Well, I don't mean to boast, but I have a professional relationship with the organization. Not as equals, of course. I would never be so bold as to claim that level of expertise. Are you alright? Your eyes seem to have glazed over for a moment. <laughs> anyway, I shan't keep you from your task. You've still a corrupted crystal to find. Alright, well, thanks for the potions, if nothing else. Okay, let's pick up your next quest. Corrupted crystals of sufficient size and strength are not all that common, I fear. Fortunately, one of my other students, Sienna, claims to have discovered another promising site in eastern Lenosia. Wait, that's not correct. Eastern Lenosia was where she was nearly killed when wandering too close to an imperial castrum. Haha, <laughs> now that made for an amusing anecdote. It was western Lenosia, Pharaoh Sirius, on the Isles of Umbra, to be precise. I can't recall her exact reasoning, something to do with one of Dalamud's talons, or some such nonsense. What I can say for certain is that she is still in Aleport, attempting to gain access to the Isles. Why not travel there and see if Sienna's inquiries bear fruit? If you can look past the crass and violent ways of the local pirates, you might find your time there to be quite pleasurable. Oh, and do not forget to make your take your makeshift warded pot, lest she think you're unprepared for the task. Alright, we gotta go to Aleport. Luckily, oh, we already know how to get there. <laughs> so let's go to Aleport, and we're gonna go to the Isles of Umbra. Oh, hello, kitty. My cat says hello. <laughs> um, we'll go here, and I actually like this area that we're gonna head into. Um, you don't stay there very long, but I, I and it's very small. <laughs> but I, for some reason, I really like it. All right, let's go down here. Is she down or up? She looks like she might be up, actually. Okay, um, let's go up here then. Do 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 do. All right, Sienna. Eh, corrupted crystals. 
Madam, I've no interest in being the butt of your jokes, so if you've no other reason for addressing me, kindly leave me be. Why is everyone so rude right now? Look, I have this. Well, I'll be damned. Professor Lambert did send you. Beg your pardon, it seems we got off on the wrong foot. I'm Sienna, greatest of the professor's pupils, which is doubtless why he bid you seek me out. Indeed, I'm, I am an accomplished scholar with an extensive background in... Oh, God, just listen to me prattle on and on. I must have given this introduction a dozen times by now. <laughs> okay. All right, let's talk to her again. Oh, a new robe. It's going to be pink. Ugh. <laughs> okay. As I told the professor in my many missives, I believe that the area surrounding Pharaoh Sirius is replete with corrupted crystals of exceptional strength. Fortunately, I've yet to test my hypothesis, as all access to the Isles of Umbra is prohibited at present, for reasons unknown to me. You see, my attempts to acquire this information are often met with annoyance and disdain. It's rather puzzling, since I always take the time to explain my motivations in great detail to the subjects of my questioning. Mayhap you will have better luck wresting information from these yellow jackets. I've all but given up at this point. Do what now? Question the yellow jackets of Aleport. Uh, looks like we gotta go up one more for this one. I see him. It's right under here. Alright. Ah, you startled me. Yeah, I know. I jumped right down in front of you. Don't you know better than to sneak up on a person at a time like this? What with all this fatuous gossip of spirits and specters haunting the Isles of Umbra? Just because I know it's nonsense doesn't make it any less frightening. G -g -g ghosts Alright. Where'd the music go? Let's bring out a uh, mountain. Hopefully we'll get the music back. There we go. All right, Furkman. You're keen on traveling to the Isles of Umbra? Bloody hells, lass, are you drunk or just crazy? Ain't nothing there but death, death, and more death. Hmm, sounds lovely. Sounds like a lovely place. Our new mount. Um, is this guy up or down? I can't remember. Oh, there's... Do I... Did I know that there's a cast room right there? I don't know if I did. <laughs> I don't... Have we... Do we have to go in there? He's down. Good. There's a prisoner in there. Alright. Dials of Umbra. What interest have you in that godforsaken place? Ever since we were forced to abandon Pharaoh Sirius, the isle has been not more than a graveyard for ships unable to navigate the shores, and a purgatory for the souls dragged down to the depths with them. Okay, but I need to get there. Look how cool that looks over there. Or is that is that a cast room or is that um like the gates that keep people out of Lenothia? I don't know. It looks cool, whatever it is. It's like a big old um you know what it actually reminds me of? Um not in the looks, but in like big walls and gates is um Dragon Age 2. <laughs> When you go to where Hawk was grown, Hawk grew up in and stuff. Oh, I'm going the wrong way again. Um, not my favorite Dragon Age. Probably my least favorite. Some of my favorite characters. Um, but I tried playing. I beat it like four times still. So when I say not my favorite, still loved it. <laughs> ah, Vesper, you've returned. Tell me your findings. R r really infested with the undead? You say that? That is a very, very interesting development. Excuse me for a moment while I gather my thoughts. Do I have to take this dumb robe? It looks stupid. Where'd it go? Ugh, we looked so cool in the other one and this one just looks bad. Alright, well, well, worry not, my friend. I've given your findings some thought, and I've concluded that this talk of spirits is not more than local folklore. As for why all travel to the Isles of Umbra is restricted, well, mayhap it's considered too dangerous, owing to the abandonment of Pharaoh Sirius. Yes, well, anyway, while you were questioning those yellow jackets, I paid a visit to the local pub, since even an esteemed scholar like myself enjoys dulling her wits on occasion. It was there that I heard a tale of a man named Skyfern, who was recently detained after returning from, wait for it, the Isles of Umbra. This is the first I've heard of someone actually traveling to and from there, so I'm curious as to how he obtained permission. Mind having a chat with him in my stead? He was arrested after all, so I'm somewhat reticent to approach him myself. I think he's back where I just pointed out that someone was <laughs> arrested. I think it's probably that guy. Yeah, it looks like it is down there. 
representing the representative. It feels like this mount is slower than other mounts. I think it's just because it's how it moves. I don't think it is actually slower. I hope it isn't slower. <laughs> that would be kind of dumb. Alright. Skyfern. I I have to go back. She calls to me. Sings to me. Oh, tell Mimi, Mimi Doe I'm sorry. Give him this. He was he was right. Or Or you could release me. Yes. Yes, release me. I will go and tell her. Let me... Let me go to her. To who? Oh my god, we just keep running back and forth. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't think the other one's slower. I think it just looked slow with how it moves. Because we're going the same same pace. Oh my god, I want this one. Look at this. Look at this fat fat moogle. Two, two person one. I think that's from uh, the Valentine's Day stuff. Oh man, I need it. Or the wedding. It could be the wedding. The wedding one. Alright, Sienna. What does Skyfern have to say? Hmm, that's not terribly helpful. I couldn't care less how much he misses his favorite bar wench. What was that about a man named Mimidoa? Wait, I know that name. That's the bastard who grabbed my arse the other day at the pub. <laughs> well, if you want to give him that feather, be my guest. I'm not going anywhere near him in his wandering hands. Okay, is he down here? Let me jump. I can't. Okay. Looks like he's down here. Mimidoa. I see him. Look at this cool outfit that this guy's got on. <laughs> he does look awesome. Some of these outfits are really cool. Alright, Mimidoa. Another initiate, are ya? No? Then what are you? Speak up, Missy. I can't hear ye. I got this feather. This golden feather. Eh! Bugger me, is this what I think it is? Nah, no, couldn't be. You found this, you say. Where'd you found it? Skyferin, you say, was hoping to have a word with the lad, but it sounds like there's not left twixt his ears. He was supposed to help patch up Pharos' serious, he was. Company sent me to supervise the lot of them. We're getting work done on our own, see? Half of them walked off, half of them ran off, and half of them up and vanished. What's that? You be looking for passage to the Isle of Umbra? Why didn't you say so? I've been thinking of dispatching someone to take a look on behalf of old Mimidoa. Tell him how the land lies. Ain't nobody been interested till you came a-callin'. Whole port's up in arms about spirits and so forth. If I had the gill, I'd hire some cell swords and let him sort it out. But you'll do in a pinch, you will. Show this parchment to the skipper and he'll see you there and back. Alright, cool. Wait, where's the skipper? Back up here? What's he doing up here? Where is he? Oh, straight up there. Oh, we gotta talk to Sienna. That's- it's not the skipper. <laughs> he said give the parchment to the skipper. Red Bat, huh? I guess it's the cool name. <laughs> Red Bat. Alright, Sienna. So you went and had a word with Mimidoa. I hope the valuable time you saw fit to waste amounted to something. Yeah, we can go over there. You mean that disgusting creature is Skyfren's superior? I find that hard to believe, but this rite of passage does appear to be genuine, so it must be true. I must say, it is a relief to work with such an industrious woman as you. I look forward to hearing of the discoveries you will make on the Isles of Umbra, without me. You're not going with? Oh god, we're gonna get pink pants. <laughs> Fine, fine. I fail to see the justification for dragging me along on your journey, but if you insist, I will go as well. But twelve is my witness. If you leave me behind to be devoured by some horrid abomination, I, I shall come back to haunt you. <laughs> Alright, okay. Can't jump down there. Now we'll go talk to the skipper. And we'll get these new pants. Let's sprint down there so we don't have to... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Don't have to mount up and go. Alright, Skipper. Can I get a fairy ride? Ha! Take me to the Isles of Umbra, she bids, as if it's as simple as... Oh, I see you've got a writ of passage. Alright, then climb aboard. <laughs> nice. Just getting a drink here, real quick. Alright, Sienna. Oh, plasmoids. There were plasmoids over here. Um, that... This doesn't seem all that bad. I'm not saying I'd like to build a summer home here, but 
Oh, the hell's with this. Here, take your poor pot and go on without me. You've harvested corrupted crystals before, right? So it isn't as though you require my assistant. Speak to the man guarding the gate. I'm sure he'll let you in. Now if you would please excuse me. <laughs> She's scared. Alright. This is where I thought we were going to have to come for the hunting log to get these plasmoids. Um, but it did not send us here. Alright, David. Beg your pardon, madame, but how did you come... How did you come here? Access to the island is currently restricted. I'm trying to... An old pot. I'm not sure I follow. Oh, I see. You wish to harvest a corrupted crystal. Sorry, friend, but you may have to return empty-handed. But I came all this way. Let's put on those pants real quick. I look dumb as heck, man. Okay. Okay. Update the gear. What do you got for us? The writ Master Mimidoa gave you may grant you access to the island, but only authorized personnel may proceed past this point. Why, you ask? Look up and see for yourself. I don't... I can't look up. <laughs> when that giant mass of crystal struck the lighthouse, it caused severe damage to both the structure and the mach machinery within that once powered the beacon. Aye, contrary to what the small folk would have you believe, the fires of Pharaoh Sirius were not the product of a mage's thaumaturgy or colossal arcane bomb, but an elaborate contraption fueled by ethereal energy. Repairs are still ongoing, but it's anyone's guess when they'll be complete. What's worse, all work has ceased since rumors of the walking dead <gasps> Ooh, walking dead drove off our entire crew. Not that those rumors are incorrect. I've observed the fiends from a distance at the ship graveyard to the south. What's drawn them to our shores is still a mystery, though. I'll make a deal, Vesper. Help me unravel this mystery, and I'll bring you your corrupted crystal. In fact, I shall begin searching for one that satisfies your requirements. As for where you begin your inquiries into the situation, j it so happens that a party of three adventurers came ashore not long ago, seeking to scavenge valuable, valuable, trinket, wow, valuable trinkets at the ship graveyard. I'd be surprised if they knew nothing of the undead infestation, so it might behoove you to question them. Okay. Well, there's a couple of, um... Oh, we actually need these, and they're part of a fate? Let's kill one of them. I wonder how many we need. Dead man's moan. We're not going to complete the fate, but we'll at least get a couple of them. Okay, fire three. Wow, that does a lot of damage when we need it. That's going to up our damage a lot, actually. Need six of these things? Alright, well... We gotta watch for that proc, because it does up our damage quite a bit when we send that out. <clears throat> Let's try to get six of these for our hunting log. Not to complete the quest, just for the hunting log. Um, and then we'll go talk to the guy and then we're almost at the end of the episode already i feel like all we've done today is run around <laughs> run around and talk to people we haven't really gone and killed anything we haven't done a whole lot of much this is probably just part of the down portion of the um of the stories remember when i very early on in the series i said that the story has really high highs and sort of low lows like it's it gets kind of dull at points um and i think we're at we're at one of those points right now so all right let's get this guy killed we've got three or six so this will be four there's another one coming oh let's do fire three awesome <laughs> that's that's so cool okay and then we'll get this guy Got a high quality bone chip. I know we need those for crafting. Alright, four of six. This will be five of six. And that guy over there will be seven of six. And we got four minutes to kill these two, which should not be a problem. Okay. Alright. Okay. Let's get this guy. And then that will be a hunting log. Thaumaturge 42. Got fire 3 again. <laughs> I love it. Alright, Dead Man's Moan, we got done. Alright, let's talk to these guys. Alda will. It's all there for the taking. Five bleeding years worth of wrecks and their cargo, but those queer dead things and that voice, actually, the voice was quite nice. Okay. 
Um, what do you have? You saw him too, right? Dead people, just shambling about without a care in the world, except when they do seem to care, that is, to start and start shuffling towards the water. Okay, what about you? God, it's that voice, that single fleeting verse. I can still hear it. Stay clear of the southern shore, friend. It took every ounce of my strength to resist. Hmm. Something talking to the dead. All right, let's go turn this in, and then we'll probably go ahead and end it there. Hopefully, we don't need to be level 43 for the next quest. All right, David, we talked to the adventurers. Hmm, this talk of an alluring voice is disturbingly familiar, as if... That's impossible. They're all dead, aren't they? What's all dead? Perfect. We can pick it up. Oh! But if they have returned, that would mean... Beg your pardon, I was just, um, thinking about something. Which reminds me, I received word from Master Mimido would be arriving any moment. Apparently he grew frustrated waiting for the sweet young lass with skin as soft as Phoenix down to return. Which I'm assuming is you. Creeper. I don't know what sort of arrangement you had, but you should probably go and explain yourself. You think we're a sweet young lass, huh? Let me tell you. I've got words for you. Alright. What's been keeping you, Initiate? I ain't getting any younger, you know. Eh? Some honey-voiced harlot's been calling out to folk that wander near the ship graveyard, and it stirred up the dead and all? Bloody house, this takes me back to my days as a cannon boy sailing under old Miss Beard. But they wouldn't dare, would they? Not after the lesson we learned them last time. Bah, they bloody would, though, wouldn't they, brazen old biddies? Some folks said as the first purge would be the last, but I knew. I knew deep down in me bones that as this day would come. And come it has. I had bet me bummy era sirens behind all this. Nay, not one of the sanguine variety initiate. I speak of the other kind. Them what's got feathers and lure sailors to a watery grave and their sweet, sweet song. Oh, but it don't end there. No, drowning's just the start. See, even in death, the man stays bound to the beast, forced to do her bid until his corpse can't do it no more. Tis a fate I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy, set maybe in drink, and I'd regret it after. Any road, tis up to us to stop this hellsborn hussy afore she takes another soul. Course, we can't send you marching off to war without these. The siren don't have no power over a man as can't hear her son. Tis lucky for you I carry a spare... A spare pair. And lucky for the both of us, I'm a superstitious old son, eh? Well, she ain't coming to us, so we'd best head over to her. To the ship graveyard, initiate. Alright, so we gotta go kill a siren. Um, but we are gonna do that next time. We are out of time for this episode. We'll take on the siren in the next episode. Um, guys, sorry that this episode was just us running around talking a whole lot. <laughs> That's part of the... MMO experience, I guess. We had some quests. We got some lore, and the this fight that's coming up is actually pretty interesting, so I'm kind of excited for it. Um, so, guys, I want to thank you so much for all your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Final Fantasy XIV Online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.